It seems like Andrew Neil has officially lost his mind because he's now saying that people against health passports should be punished. Uh, the voice of uh, logical debating and uh, interviewing at the BBC is uh, now gone a bit off the rail. I don't know what's going on right now with uh, Andrew Neil. Um, we have created a new culture where people who become outsiders or leave something or get fired, they all become certain type of rebels who are just petty. Meghan Markle, Andrew Neil, uh, you got Matt Hancock, <laughs> and keep doing interviews and interviews and seeking attention. Andrew Neil, who's uh, now also left GB News, is uh, now come out to say that people who are against the idea of uh, health passports and the state controlling every single aspect of your life should be punished. Yeah, we should all be punished. Because he said in his article, he's written this piece saying that he was uh, having dinner in the south of France the other night. Lovely, absolutely lovely. And uh, they asked for health passports uh, to kind of evidence that you have the jabs. And he said, you know, it took a few seconds. It was a bit inconvenient, but it's worth it because it said there was a sense of safety in knowing that all the other diners had proved themselves essentially to be fit and healthy. Mm. Quick question, Andrew Neil, you do know that even if you have it, even if you take uh, the jabs and have the health passports, you can still catch airborne viruses and you can still carry them and you can still infect others. In case you didn't know, that's the reality. So that sense of safety, feeling of safety is just an emotion. It's not true. Just because you feel safe doesn't mean you're safe. What keeps you safe is the fact that severity goes down because you've already had your jab. So it's okay if someone next to you uh, doesn't have a, back, have a health passport, then it's not a big deal. You know, you're still going to catch it, but at least you won't be uh, obviously ill. I mean, he already says it. That, you know, he's literally written it saying, well, what it does, it reduces the risk of serious illness and hospitalization. So leave everybody else alone. Why do you want to punish the others? If you think that you've already had yours, and I don't know how many, you've had two, three, four, five by now, then you're protected. It doesn't really matter if someone next to you is carrying the airborne virus. You can still, they can still transmit it, but you'll be fine. You just said it, you'll be fine. Doctors say you'll be fine. This authoritarian mentality coming from paternalistic conservatives like Andrew Neil, and his paternalist, paternalistic conservatism is actually very dangerous because it creates nanny state and tyranny. And this is the problem that is created. He says, one final thought. Singapore, yeah, decided to essentially punish those who haven't uh, taken the jab, saying that uh, if you end up in the hospital uh, and you haven't taken your jab, then you have to pay for your own medical bills. And he says, basically, it's a, it's a logical idea. And I, I get the morality and logic. I'm guessing he's implying that we should do the same thing in the NHS because it's free at the point of use, not free. And so those of you who haven't had your jab, if you get ill, you should pay. Ooh, so again, once more. What if someone has taken two and also the booster and everything else? Because some of them still actually end up in hospital anyway, some. So, so what about them? Should they pay? Or should they still be just treated freely? Because I don't get it. It's not the fault of people for catching it. With or without the jab, you can still catch it. It's not like if someone just caught it, it's their fault, unless they're going around on purpose, kissing people who have it. <laughs> uh, or like or Mark Drake for going to parties and dance around, or having cheese and wine night in Downing Street. I don't really understand the logic of uh, creating this uh, di very, very divisive society and based on punishment, reward and punishment. It's very dangerous. And considering there are rumors, that rumors, just rumors, that he could potentially be in talks again with the BBC, or at least some people at the BBC are keen to talk to him. Does he want to say anything about this? Because yeah, according to Guido, apparently there have been illegal parties organized by the BBC during lockdown. So should we just punish everybody now? Because, you know, everybody has made mistakes, everybody has broken the rules, and everybody, a lot of people catch it, 
and carry it. So should we just be punished for catching the flu, maybe? Let's just do that. That's the Andrew Neil world. This is paternalistic conservatism at its worst. Authoritarianism at its worst. It's bad. Uh, health tyranny is bad. Say no. Thanks again for watching, guys. Leave a comment. I'm my TC, and we are the media.